Hey YouTube, this your boy Big Boy Snacks on TV, and today I go with my WWE King and Queen review and highlights. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please full watch the video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more wrestling content. Follow my social media down below in the description, and let's get started. Now WWE King and and Queen of the Ring was a pretty good show, and I give it an eight point nine out of ten. That's my opinion right there. So King and Queen. King and Queen pay per view. Uh, King and Queen of the Ring pay per view was live at um, Saudi Arabia Jedi Superdome. The commentary was Michael Cole and Corey Graves. Then now forever together, the WWE video leads us to the show. Michael Cole does an advertisement for the accomplishments of Saudi Arabia's um, archer architecture. Anyway, undisputed WWE. Woman, the undisputed WWE champion, the American Nightmare Cody Rose, is shown arriving at the arena earlier today. United States champion Logan Paul is showing arriving separately. Women's World Champion Becky Lynch will defend her title against Lil Morgan. Both are shown coming coming to the Jedi Superdome. Video. So we get a video package. King and Queen of the Ring hype video. We go live into the Je Jedi Superdome. To see a big protectix display. Okay, so we get the match at the so we get match match card number one. So we get Women's World Champion, the man Becky Lynch versus Liv Morgan. This was a good match, but the outcome really pissed me off. What was that? What 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 was Dominic Mysterio doing out there in the ring? Did you see the way that Dominic Mysterio slid the chair inside the ring and Liv Morgan capitalized to capture the new Women's World Champion? And I quote, when Rhea Ripley was injured on Monday Night Raw and she relinquished the Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley said, when she, when Rhea Ripley said, whoever wins the Women's World Championship, she's coming back for blood. And oh, I cannot wait till Rhea Ripley comes back to, to take back the Women's World Champion. And, and I hope Rhea Ripley does it. Anyway, let me continue. This was a good match, but, but the wrong outcome. Mike Rome handles the ring introductions. They had the AK camera to showcase the challenger and the champion. And the funny thing is, why was Becky Lynch wrestling in the torcedo, in the tuxedo? That was that was crazy. But anyway, the bell rings and a Becky Lynch chant picks up. Lil Morgan wags her finger at the crowd. They lo they lock up and tussle into the ropes before shoving each other off. They got they get into a big shoving match. Before the referee stepped in, stepped between them, they circled the ring and Lil Morgan grabs a waist lock. Becky Lynch does a standing switch and takes her down. Lil Morgan fights up and does a standing switch, but Becky Lynch quickly turns it on turns it on her. Lil Morgan pulls her into the ropes to get Becky Lynch off. Lil Morgan stunts her with a few right hands. Becky Lynch reverses a whip and big boo her down. Becky Lynch hits the ropes, but Lil Morgan follows her in. Becky Lynch stops the momentum by hitting a shoulder tackle. Lil Morgan quickly rolls out of the ring to regroup. Becky Lynch follows her out, of, follows her out and punches her before bouncing her off the apron. Becky Lynch bounces her off the apron and the barricade. Lil Morgan quickly blocks another shot and bounces Becky Lynch's face off the apron before rolling her rolling her into the ring. Becky Lynch attacks her as she comes into the ring and hangs her on the second rope. Becky Lynch goes to the second rope for a diving leg drop, but Liv Morgan pulls her off and picks up a two count. Liv Morgan has Becky Lynch in, in the corner and stomps her, stomps away at her. Liv Morgan charged, but Becky Lynch sidesteps her and kicks her in the face. Becky Lynch goes for a second kick, but Liv Morgan blocks it and Close lines her down. Lil Morgan gets Becky Lynch tied in the ropes and stretches for her. Lil Morgan released release before being disqualified. Lil Morgan hits a basement drop kick to the spine for a two count. Lil Morgan kicks at her and slaps her in the face. Lil Morgan sends her into the ropes. Um, but Becky Lynch holds on and boots her back. Becky Lynch elbows her back and goes to the second rope. But Lil Morgan rips her down again. Becky Lynch hits the turnbuckle's face first before hitting the mat. Lil Morgan covers one, two. Becky Lynch kicks out. Lil Morgan applies an overhead race lock and changes it in. Becky Lynch fights up and arm drag Lil Morgan off. 
They trade punches before Becky Lynch reverse a whip into the corner. Liv Morgan rolls her into the turnbuckles and covers a few c- covers for a two count. The kick out of the kick out sends Liv Morgan into the turnbuckles hard. They they, they then wipe each other out with stereo clotheslines. Becky Lynch gets her gets her feet and gets to her feet and punches her. They slowly exchange right hands before progressively picking up speed. Becky Lynch connects with a pair of clotheslines and a calf kick. Becky Lynch pops up and is fired up. Becky Lynch hits a running forearm in the corner, followed by a back, followed by a back exploder. Liv Morgan quickly rolls out of the ring. Becky Lynch flattens her with a baseball slide and goes to the apron. Becky Lynch comes off the apron with a flying clothesline and gets her gets her challenger in the ring. Becky Lynch heads to the top rope, but but for the third time, Lil Morgan cuts her off. Lil Morgan climbs to, climbs and stare and starts punching her punching at her. Becky Lynch shoves her down to the canvas and catches her with a miss missile drop kick. Becky Lynch covers one two and Lil Morgan kicks out. Becky Lynch grabs the arm for a disarm her, but Lil Morgan counters with a roll up for a two count. Becky Lynch tries again. But Liv Morgan stunts her with a right hand. Liv Morgan springboards off the second rope with the cold breaker for a near fall. The, the crowd is definitely into this match. Liv Morgan charged Becky Lynch in the corner, but Becky Lynch sidesteps her. Becky Lynch takes her down for a two count. Becky Lynch goes to the top rope and lands on her on her feet when Liv Morgan moves. Liv Morgan quickly heads up to the ropes and connects with a missile drop kick for a two count. Liv Morgan ties her up and goes for an oblivion, but Becky Lynch counters into a reverse DDT off the second row for a near fall. The crowd is clapping and stomping and stomping, making the camera shake. Becky Lynch goes for a manhandle, manhandle slam, but Liv Morgan counters into a roll up. Becky Lynch rolls through, but Liv Morgan quickly gets out. Liv Morgan takes her takes her down with a leaping knee for a near fall. Liv Morgan is is near tears, in frustration at her. In inability to put the man away. Lil Morgan jabs away at Becky Lynch and smiles. Becky Lynch walks her with a slap to the face. Lil Morgan fights back and punches her. Lil Morgan springboards off the ropes for an arm drag, but Becky Lynch flips her over for a cross arm breaker. Lil Morgan fights it and applies the ring, the rings of Saturn. Becky Lynch tries to roll her over into a pin, but Lil Morgan chinches in the ring of Saturn. Becky Lynch eventually rolls through and applies a disarm her. Liv Morgan screams in pain. Dirty Dominic Mysterio appears at ringside to loud boots earlier on the kickoff show. Mr. Dominic Mysterio said he flew out to Saudi Arabia to make sure Liv Morgan didn't get Mommy's Real Ripley's championship. Liv Morgan gets a foot on the bottom rope to break the hole. Liv, um, Becky Lynch yells at the yells at Dominic Mysterio to leave ringside. Becky Lynch turns and ducks a close on before going for a manhandle slam, but Liv Morgan counters into a cold breaker for a near fall. Liv Morgan sets Becky Lynch up for set Becky Lynch up and climbs to the top rope. Becky Lynch pops up and cuts her off. Becky Lynch connects with a superplex. Dominic Mysterio slid slides a steel chair to Becky Lynch. Dominic Mysterio distracts the referee. Liv Morgan takes advantage of the distraction to hit Becky Lynch with a DDT on the steel chair. Lil Morgan follows follows up with the oblivion for the win. The winner by pinfall, your new women's world champion, Lil Morgan. The outcome I did not like. Dirty Dominic Mysterio cost Becky Lynch the title match, and the match itself was good, but the outcome I did not like. But I cannot wait for Rhea Ripley to come back to take the women's world title off of Lil Morgan, cause when Rhea Ripley was injured and she relinquished the world title the world women's champion on Monday Night Raw, and she looked directly into the camera, and I quote, when Rear, when Rear Ruby says, if anyone has the women's world champion, Rear Ripley is coming back for blood, and I cannot wait for Rear Ripley to come back for blood. And, Lil, and, and Rear Ripley is not going to be too happy when she comes back. She is not too happy by Dominic Mysterio. All Rear Ripley is not going to be too happy about this when she comes back, and I cannot wait till Rear Ripley comes back. But this match was good, but the outcome, I did not like. But wrong decision. But anyway, let me continue. 
dirty Dominic Mysterio looks disappointed with with his turn events at ringside. The commentators called Mysterio an idiot, saying he's he's pissed away. He's He's pissed away, mom, away, mommy's title. Becky is just furious and, ho- and holding her head in pain from the DDT on the chair. Dirty Dominic Mysterio looks furious. Liv Morgan stands on the ramp and posts with the Women's World Championship. As fireworks goes off, that's all I gotta say. But Liv, but Liv Morgan is not gonna have that Women's World title for long when Ray Ripley comes back. It says Liv Morgan pins Becky Lynch and is the new Women's World Champion. Hashtag King and Queen of the Ring. Liv Morgan's not going to have that Women's World, ty- World Champion for long when Rhea Ripley comes back. Good match to kick off the show. Becky Lynch, who was pencils, pencil in, pencil in for some time, or did the company did the did, did the company a solid by coming back to hold the title for a proper handoff to Liv Morgan? Great job getting Dirty Dominic involved and tease further. Decision with the Judgment Day and Rhea Ripley. So the Judgment Day was not at ringside doing Becky Lynch and Lil Morgan's match. But anyway, let me continue. That was a good match, but the wrong outcome. But I cannot wait for I cannot wait for Rhea Ripley to come back and take the Women's Watch World Championship back where it belongs. Cause Mommy will be on top. That's all I gotta say. WWE will be a be at Fan, Fanatic Fest in New York City in August. Video package, WWE Intercontinental Champion. Chad Gable comes out to the stage with Otis and Maxine Dupree. Chad Gable looks at Dupree and angrily sends her to the back. Otis isn't pleased, but he goes forward down the ramp as Maxine Dupree goes to hold back, goes to the back. As Big Bronson re heads to the ring, another Uncle Howdy QR code flashes on the screen. Video package, WWE Intercontinental Championship, Sami Zayn, great personal moments in Saudi Arabia. So get the um, WWE Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn makes his way to the ring in a in a um captain. So we get a WWE Intercontinental Championship triple threat match. Chad Gable coming by Otis versus Big Bronson Reed versus Sami Zayn. This match was pretty good. And I'm glad that Otis got his get back against Chad Gable. Cause Chad Gable slapped Otis today in the face. Just like he did on Monday Night Raw. I'm glad that Otis got his get back on Chad Gable. But the match is the triple threat match itself. I already knew that Sami Zayn was going to retain the Intercontinental Champion. But the match itself was pretty but the triple threat match was pretty good. Not bad, but pretty good. The bell rings in the crowd is buzzing. Sami Zayn goes after his personal foe. Chad Gable with punches. Bronson Reed takes him down and avalanches Chad Gable and Sami Zayn's. Um Chad Gable fights at Bronson Reed, but Bronson Reed chops him back. Bronson Reed military press Chad Gable, but Chad Gable slides off and gets out of the ring. Bronson Reed follows him out and throws him. Sami Zayn takes Bronson Reed down with a plancher. Chad Gable then takes Sami Zayn out with a club to the back. Chad Gable gets Sami Zayn in the ring and tries to bounce him in the corner, but Sami Zayn blocks it. Sami Zayn hits the 10 punch and the crowd counts in Albrecht. And Sami Zayn comes off the middle rope with an elbow to the head of Gable. Bronson Reed then runs runs Sami Zayn over with a close arm. Big Bronson Reed gets Sami Zayn in the corner. Sami Zayn elbows him back. Big Bronson Reed grabs Chad Gable and catches Sami Zayn off, catches Sami Zayn coming off the second row. Big Bronson Reed then slams Sami Zayn onto Chad Gable. Sami Zayn land on Chad Gable's ankle, which did not look good. Bronson Reed charged Sami Zayn in the corner, but but Sami Zayn counters with a drop toe hole into the bottom turnbuckle. Chad Gable gets on the apron, but Sami Zayn elbows him down. Sami Zayn goes to the apron, but Chad Gable pulls him behind to the apron and wildly clubs away at him. Chad Gable goes to the top rope and hits a missile drop kick. Chad Gable punches Sami Zayn in the face and talks trash to him. Chad Gable sends him into the ropes, but Sami Zayn holds on. Chad Gable charged, but Sami Zayn hits a back body drop to the floor. Big Bronson recharged, but Sami Zayn sends him out of the ring as well. Sami Zayn hits the rolls and wipes out Bronson Reed and Chad Gable with a somersault in time. The crowd is absolutely bu- a buzz with Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn gets Bronson Reed in the ring and acknowledges the 
acknowledge the crowd. Sami Zayn, ha- Zayn heads to the top rope, but Bronson Reed cuts him off. Bronson Reed climbs to the second rope and lifts Sami Zayn, but Sami Zayn counters into a sunset flip powerbomb. One, two. Bronson Reed kicks out. Sami Zayn signs Bronson Reed up for a blue thunder bomb, but Bronson Reed li- lives up to big to his big monker as Sami Zayn cannot lift him. Bronson Reed clubs the back and puts the Intercontinental Champion on the top rope. Gunther immediately cuts Bronson Reed off with a child block. Chad Gable climbs the ropes for a superplex, but Bronson Reed cuts them off. Bronson Reed hits Chad Gable with a powerbomb as Chad Gable hits Sami Zayn with a superplex. Bronson Reed set up, set Sami Zayn up and climbed the top rope. Bid Bronson Reed attempt a moonsault, but Sami Zayn moves. Chad Gable hits Bronson Reed with a moonsault and covers one two. Sami Zayn breaks up the pin. Sami Zayn tries for a blue thunder bomb on Bronson Reed again, but he still cannot lift him. Sami Zayn chops him and scales the ropes for a tornado DDT. Sami Zayn covers Bronson Reed one two. Chad Gable breaks up the pin and puts Sami Zayn in an ankle lock. Bronson Reed rolls out of the ring to recover. Sami Zayn screams in pain and looks for looks to the bottom rope. Chad Gable pulls Sami Zayn back and grabs the leg. Bronson Reed um, approaches Chad Gable with Chad Gable, so Chad Gable traps him and puts the big man in an ankle lock. Sami Zayn gets up and grabs the ankle lock and the, grabs Chad Gable's ankle for an ankle lock. For a moment, we have linked ankle locks. Chad Gable released the hole as he is in too much pain from from Sami Zayn's ankle lock. Sami Zayn lets go of the hole as Bronson Reed charged. Sami Zayn then hits Bronson Reed with a blue thunderbolt. One, two, big Bronson Reed barely kicks out. The crowd is going wild. Sami Zayn limps to the corner and punches Chad Gable. Chad Gable punches back. They trade punches in the corner before Bronson Reed sandwiched them into each other with an avalanche. Bronson Reed somehow gets them both on his shoulders and hits a stack of Samoan drops. On the real, the crowd chants. This is awesome. Sami Zayn and Chad Gable both roll out of the ring. Bronson Reed hits the ropes and takes them out with the suicide dive. The crowd cannot believe it. Bronson Reed gets Sami Zayn in the ring and goes on goes to the top rope for a tsunami. But, but Sami Zayn moves. Sami Zayn sees Bronson Reed getting up in the corner and sides him up. Sami Zayn charged for the Huluba kick, but Chad Gable cuts him off. And his two rolling German suplexes. Sami Zayn elbows out of a third and hits Gable with a pair of German suplexes. Um, Bronson Reed grabs Sami Zayn, but Chad Gable elbows out of Sami Zayn's grip. Chad Gable does a standing standing switch on both men. Chad Gable then hits Bronson Reed, and Sami Zayn hits a double stack German suplex. What? And all three men are down. Chad Gable shouts, shouts to Otis. Now this now is the time. Otis runs over Bronson Reed with the clothesline at ringside. Chad Gable throws Sami Zayn out of the ring at Otis' feet. Otis, who apologized to Sami Zayn on WWE this past Monday for interfering in his match against Chad Gable, looked conflicted. Otis does not hit the Intercontinental Champion. Chad Gable gets out of the ring and yells at Otis. Chad Gable holds Sami Zayn up and orders Otis to hit Sami Zayn. Otis moves to do so, but he puts on the brakes. Chad Gable gets in Otis' face and shows him. Otis sneers at, at Master Gable. At Master Gable. Gable calls him an idiot and slaps him in the face just like he did on Monday Night Raw. Chad Gable tells Otis to wake up. Gable holds Sami Zayn up and Otis backs backs up. Otis charges, but Sami Zayn ducks. Otis Runs over Master Gable with a clothesline. I'm glad Otis got his get back with that clothesline. Sami Zayn gets in the ring and spots Bronson Reed getting up. Sami Zayn connects with the Huluba kick and covers one, two, three. The crowd wars. The winner by pinfall and still your WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. This was a good triple threat match. And I'm glad Sami Zayn retains the Intercontinental Champion. Sami Zayn pins Bronson Reed and retains his WWE Intercontinental Champion. Hashtag WWE King and Queen of the ring. But I'm glad Otis got his get back. Phenomenal triple threat match with Sami Zayn retaining over Bronson Reed and Chad Gable. Chad Gable has some great spots to show off 
his incredible, incredible strength. Bronson Reed continues to impress with his scary agility and speed for a man of a man of size. Um, the crowd was solidly behind Sami Zayn and made for the made for show and made for it. But anyway, I think Chad Gable is going to recruit the um what's the, I've got the other team's name. Um, Bron- dang, I forgot. Y'all tell me down below in the comments. Um. But anyway, Summer Sum is expanded to two nights of Minneapolis, Minnesota in 2026. Oh, I cannot wait for Summer Slam, 2026, August 1st. Video package, Bianca Bella and Jay Cargill retained the WWE Women's Tag Team Tag Team Champions over Indy Harbour and Candice LeRae on the kickoff show. To me, that was so disrespectful. Why would you put Bianca Bella and Jay Cargill versus Can- Indy Harbour and Candice LeRae for the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions in the kickoff show. That was that was so disrespectful. But anyway, let's move on. Backstage. Byron Saxon is backstage with the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Bianca Bella and Jake O'Gill. Byron Saxon asks for the secret to their chemistry. Jake O'Gill says they have each other's back. Bianca Bella says they have something to prove and prove it. Jake O'Gill says they're handing out work so anyone can apply. Michael Cole mentions that Brian that, that Baron Saxon is supremely on call. So we get a video package, Queen of the Ring Finals. WWE Tag Team Champions, A Town Down Under, and Sean saying that Rayside hashtag DIY is also there. The Street Profits are seated with BFAB as well. So we get the Queen of the Ring Tournament final match. Nia Jack versus Lara Rakira. This match wasn't bad. This was this match was, I might as well say, this was a decent match, but I knew Nia Jack was going to win. The winner of this match was secure a championship opportunity at SummerSlam, which is Nia Jack did win, and now she's going to face Bailey for the WWE Women's Champion at SummerSlam, August 1st, 2026. The bell rings and Lara Rakira constantly approaches Nia Jack. But Lara Rakira sidesteps her and applies a side headlock, but Nia Jack shoves her off. Nia Jack lifts her butt, lifts her butt. Rakira slides, slides for a sunset flip. Nia Jack doesn't go down and power and powers her down, powers her up. Um, Nia Jack whips her, but Rakira cartwheels to a landing. Um, Nia Jack charges, so Rakira drops down for a drop toe. But Nia Jax doesn't go down. Nia Jax grabs her, but Valkyra jumps on the back for a sleeper hole. Nia Jax quickly backs her into the corner to fire her off. Valkyra quickly sidesteps Nia Jax to send her out of the ring. Valkyra hits the ropes and hits a missile drop kick to the outside. Nia Jax quickly backs Valkyra hard into the ring apron and gets her in the ring. Valkyra drop kicks the Incidable force as she gets in the ring. Valkyra punches her, um, but Nia Jax shoves her off. Valkyra quickly rebounds with a tornado DT attempt, but Nia Jax shoves, shoves her off again. Valkyra quickly jumps on the back for a sleeper hole, but Nia Jax slams her off. Nia Jax avalanches her in the corner and punches away at her before throwing her down. Nia Jax hits the ropes and drops an elbow for a two count. Nia Jax whips Laura Rakira hard it's Lara Rakira hard into the corner and touch the crowd. Nia Jax draws her boot into Lara Rakira's throat for a few moments. Lara Rakira punches at the midsection, but Nia Jax easily clubs her down. Nia Jax scoops her up and drives her hard into the corner before tying her up in the tree of woe. Nia Jax slides, slings her head back and kicks her in the midsection. Valkyra collapses in a heap on the canvas. Nia Jax applies a soapboard stretch against the ropes. The referee starts a five count, but Nia Jax released release the release in the request re- requested amount of time before being disqualified. Nia Jax applies a cobra clutch, Yamaga in the middle of the ring, and grounds L- Lyra Valkyra. 
Lara Ventura fights up fights up from the hole and and eventually elbows out. Nia Jack rag dolls her and slugs slings her down to the mat. Nia Jack grabs her, but Lara Ventura stuns her with a jawbreaker. Lara Ventura strikes away at Nia Jack and bring her down to one knee. Um, Lara Ventura charges, but Nia Jax catches her with a small job for a near fall. Um, Nia Jax drags Lara Ventura to the corner for an out for a annihilator, but Lara Ventura pulls herself under the bottom rope. Nia Jax redirects and leaves and leaves, but Ventura moves. Nia Jax hits the apron hard and hard with a weird and. Lara Rakira knocks her down off the apron. Lara Rakira goes for a missile drop kick to the floor, but Nia Jax catches her. Nia Jax goes for a wheelbarrow slam on the floor, but Vakura counters into a bulldog. Lara Rakira takes a few moments to recover and gets Nia Jax in the ring. Lara Rakira knocks um, Nia Jax to the opposite corner with a missile drop kick. Lara Rakira follows up with a tornado DDT for a near fall. Lara Rakira heads to the top rope and leaves, but lands on her feet. When Nia Jax moves, Lara Kira holds her knee in pain upon landing. Nia Jax immediately hits a small drop and quickly drags her to the corner for an annihilator. Lara Kira knocks her over and Nia Jax is holding his holds on Nia Jax holds on holds, holds to the top rope. Um Lara Kira double stumps her down to the map for a two count. Lara Kira comes off the top rope with a diving leg drop. Lara Rakira covers one, two, and Nia Jax quickly kicks out. Lara Rakira tries to lift Nia Jax, but Nia Jax is too heavy. Nia Jax shoves her to the corner and avalanches her. Nia Jax gets Lara Rakira on her shoulders and climbs to the second rope. Lara Rakira slips down for a sunset flip powerbomb, but Nia Jax holds her on and drops, drops down onto Lara Rakira with, a, with an annihilator from out of nowhere for the win. Incredibility nasty squat. Squash on the midsection. Nia Jax cross her arms, cross her arms like Yokozuna during the pin. The winner by pin for Nia Jax. Nia Jax is the queen of the wing and will challenge for the WWE Women's Champion at this year's SummerSlam 2026. All hell, Queen Nia Jax. But hey, this this match right here, this was. Not bad of a match, but it was a pretty good match. That's all I got to say. Nia Jax is the queen of the ring. Hashtag WWE king and queen of the ring. Let's move on. Triple H gets in the ring with the queen of the ring crown. In a brace her, Nia Jax, who came back last September after being fired by the company two years pure, cries tears of joy. She been to a knee and Triple H puts the crown on, on, on her head. Triple H presents the new queen of the ring to the crowd. Kayla Braxton gets in the ring to interview Queen Nia Jack. Nia Jack tells her to, to save her congratulations. She knows no one is happy for her, but Nia Jack is happy for herself, which she should. She's going to get a lot happier, and they all get a lot angrier, and she becomes WWE. WWE Women's champion and be their queen of the ring at SummerSlam. Nia Jack pulls in the ring as fireworks goes off. Okay. Better than expected match with Nia Jack and Lara Rakira. Lara Rakira stepped up to a huge spot. She showed off great skill as the face and pure and had some great hope spots. Nia Jack, who, had, who has had a, has a hell of a a comeback since comeback story since returning in the fall continued to team her run of dominance. Replay Liv Morgan defeated Becky Lynch earlier in the show to win the Women's World Championship after interfering by Dirty Dominic Mysterio Backfire. Backstage segment The man Becky Lynch is furious walking backstage when Byron Saxon stops her. Byron Saxon says she heard she heard her Battering Dirty Dominic Mysterio, Becky Lynch says she is furious and doesn't know what's going on. She has a rematch clause, but into her contract, she's going to find Roger Manager, Adam Pierce, and get her a rematch. 
but it's Monday. So Becky Lynch was pissed off that she lost to, um, to Liv Morgan. But like I said earlier, when Rhea Ripley comes back, Rhea Ripley is coming back for her Women's World Champion. She's coming back for blood. She's coming back for Liv Morgan. When when Rhea Ripley relinquished the Women's World Champion when she when she was injury on Monday Night Raw, Rhea Ripley said, and I quote, whoever has the Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley is coming back for blood. She's coming back for Liv Morgan and her Women's World Champion because Rhea Ripley, mommy stands on top, and that's facts. And that's all I got to say. Let's move on. King King of the Ring Finals. Tiffany Stratton is shown at ringside. Carmella Hayes is shown at ringside. King of the Ring Tournament Final Match. The Ring General Gunther versus Randy Orton. This was a good match. Randy Orton put up a good fight. But 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 Gunther overcame the odds and won the King of the Ring Tournament. This was a good match. The win and this was my pick. Gunther went went Gunther. This was my pick of Gunther winning against Randy Orton. That was my pick. I called it straight down the middle. But anyway, this was a good match. The winner of this match will secure a championship opportunity at SummerSlam 2026. And Gunther is going to face Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship match. That match is going to cook and that match is going to slap. Here I come. Hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the middle of the video. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm fine. I'm in the middle of the video. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Hello? Okay. Okay. Hello? Hello? Sorry about that. I was in a phone call. Anyway, that was a good match. The winner of this match will secure a, do a championship opportunity at SummerSlam 2026, which is Gunther did win that match against Rainier to become to become to crown King of the Ring. That was a good match. And that match is going to slap when Gunther takes the world championship off the, off of Damian Priest. And that's all I gotta say. The bell rings to start this match. The crowd is absolutely absolutely buzzing for Randy Orton. The they they loudly sang his his theme song as he made his way to the ring. To the atmosphere is incredible. Sorry about the phone. I had a phone call, but sorry about that, y'all. But anyway, let me continue. They lock up in, they lock up and are in a stalemate. Gunther powers him in, powers him to the corner and backs up with a clean break. A loud RKO champ fires up. They lock up in the center of the ring again. Gunther tries to power power him to the corner, but Randy Orton turns him around and shoves away at him before backing up. Gunther is now immediately intimidated by the Viper. Gunther grabs the arm and Wrenches it in, wrenches it, bringing Randy Orton down to a knee. Randy Orton twists, twists out and out and wrenches Gunther's arm, flipping him over. Gunther quickly pops up and backs him into the ropes to break the hole. Gunther backs up and shakes, shakes some feeling into the, his shoulders. The crowd is going wild despite not much happening yet. They constantly approach each other. Um... They constantly, they constantly approaches each other, and Randy Orton applies a side headlock. Randy Orton chinches it in, but Gunther backs him into the into the ropes and whips him off. Orton hits a shoulder tackle and follow up with a side headlock takeover. Randy Orton chinches it in, chinches in the side headlock on the mat. Gunther fights up to his feet and backs and backs Orton into the corner to break the break the hole. Gunther then smacks Orton in the chest. With a chop, Randy Orton, who has never faced Gunther before, collects himself after taking his first Gunther chop. Gunther chopped him two more times and collapsed and challenged Orton. Orton, Randy Orton shakes the shakes off the pain and back and blasts another chop. Randy Orton punches away at Gunther and in the, in the uppercut him in the corner. 
Gunther stuns Randy Orton with an uppercut, quickly kicks Gunther and uppercut him down. Randy Orton punches Gunther in the corner and climbs to the second rope for the 10 punches. Gunther fights out and throws Orton to the center of the ring. Gunther goes for a power bomb, but Randy Orton counters with an RKO attempt. Randy Orton hits the mat hard and grabs a shirt, shirt collie repair bag. Gunther sees the opening and attacks the certainly repair bag of Randy Orton with some stumps. In a nasty club, Gunther shoves him into the ropes and catches him with a forearm to the back on the rebound. Randy Orton fights back with a right hand that knocks Gunther down. Randy Orton hits a few more right hands, but Gunther recovers with a vicious shot that floors the Viper. The crowd chants, this is awesome. Gunther stomps away at the back before standing on the second row to turn the crowd. Randy Orton is making his way to the, to the corner on his knee. Gra Gunther grabs the back again, and Randy Orton is in a lot of pain. Randy Orton drops down to his knees, and Gunther stretches him out with an overhead race lock. Randy Orton starts to fight out, but his knee starts to buckle. Randy Orton says to the referee, that's that his knee hurts and lets out an explosive. Gunther stretches him. Randy Orton fights up, but Gunther hits a backbreaker for a near fall. Gunther stands over a, the stands over the legend, legendary Randy Orton. Randy Orton gets up, but Gunther floors him with a scoop slam. Gunther attempts a suplex, but Randy Orton blocks it. They struggle back and forth before Randy Orton finally hits a vertical suplex. Randy Orton gets to his feet. But Gunther ducks a clothesline. Gunther stunts him with a chop and charge, but Randy Orton clotheslines him down. Randy Orton hits, Randy Orton hits him, hits a second clothesline and goes for a snap power slam. But Gunther holds the ropes. Randy Orton holds his knee in pain. Gunther takes Randy Orton down with a clothesline for a near fall. Gunther sets up for the power bomb, but Randy Orton backs him into the corner. Gunther charge, but Randy Orton hits a snap power slam. Randy Orton gets to his feet and is holding his knee in pain. Gunther rolls to the apron. Randy Orton connects with a draping DDT and holds the lower back in pain. If this were WWE 2K24, Randy Orton's torso and legs would be in the red. Randy Orton gets in the crowd and going and drops down to the mat and to stalk his prey. Gunther shows an RKO off and hits a scoop slam. Gunther quickly heads to the top row and nearly loses his balance before hitting a diving splash for a near fall. Gunther goes back to the top row and leaves, and leaves but Orton moves. Gunther charge, yeah, Gunther charge, but Randy Orton drops him with an RKO. Randy Orton is down on the mat in pain and starts to crawl towards the ring general, but Gunther rolls to the apron. Gunther. Falls to the floor and Randy Orton goes outside to get him. Randy Orton's chest is black. A blue thunder bomb. I'm not sorry. Black and blue from the chop. Randy Orton grabs Gunther and hits a back suplex on, onto, Randy, onto the commentary table. The crowd chants one more time. So Orton obliged. Randy Orton go, gets into the ring to break the count. Randy Orton goes outside and Gunther shoves Randy Orton into the edge of the ring apron. Randy Orton wilds in the pain. Wilds in pain. The crowd once again chants, "This is awesome." Gunther sets up for a powerbomb on the floor, but Randy Orton counters with all the strength he can muster, muster to hit a back body drop. Randy Orton then hits another back suplex onto the commentary table. Randy Orton gets Gunther in the ring as he gets in. Gunther hits a nasty drop kick to the knee. Randy Orton falls onto the ring. Falls into the ring. Gunther kicks away at Randy Orton's injured leg and applies his single leg grab. Randy Orton tries to fight out, but Gunther keeps it applied. Randy Orton eventually turns over and kicks Gunther away. Gunther grabs the leg and puts the single crab back on. Randy Orton ground, roars in pain and reaches for the bottom rope. Randy Orton touches the bottom rope as so Gunther pulls him away. Gunther kicks him away and hits an RKO. Um, Randy Orton cross over one two Gunther kicks out. Gunther hit the injured knee as he kicked out. 
Go through piles of Randy Orton over the over and covers. Randy Orton's shoulders lifts off the mat after the at the count of one, but the referee keeps counting to three. The winner by pinfall, the ring general Gunther, and Gunther is not is the is crowned the new king of the ring, which was my pick in the first place. I told you guys that Gunther was going to be Randy Orton to become the king of the ring, the, your new crown. King of the Ring. I was right. I called it straight down the middle. Go watch my WWE King of Queen um, 2024 preview prediction video. Go watch that. I just posted that video Thursday. But anyway, this was a good match. Randy Orton put up a good fight. Gunther is in. Gunther is the King of the Ring and will and will challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship at this year's SummerSlam 2026. During the replay, they they tried to avoid showing the. Angle where Randy Orton's shoulder came up during the final pin. And like I said, I cannot wait for Gunther versus Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship at December 7, 2026. And mark my words, I'm going to be the first one to call this down the middle. Damian Priest is going to drop the World Heavyweight Championship to Gunther this in 2026 at WWE SummerSlam. I'm calling it straight down the middle. All right. Triple H gets in the ring and hands Gunther the king of the ring crown. Gunther holds it up in victory. Randy Orton is shown being held to the back by referees. Byron Saxon gets in the ring and asks how it feels to be the king of the ring. Gunther listens to like you deserve it, champ. Picking up. Gunther thanks the fans. What he does or doesn't deserve is none of their business. It feels great to be the king of the ring. It feels even better to beat Randy Orton in the finals. The crowd, the crowd chants, you suck. Gunther says, what happened today is an apex. Predator became the prey for the ring general at SummerSlam. He'll become the world heavyweight champion. Gunther holds the king of the ring crown up and poses as the firework goes off. But man, I cannot wait to, I cannot wait for Gunther versus Damian Priest world heavyweight championship at SummerSlam 2026. And I got Gunther winning over Damian. Damian Priest is dropping the World Heavyweight Championship to Gunther at, at SummerSlam 2026. Mark my words. Watch I tell you. And I'll be the first one called straight down the middle. A really good, fantastic match with Randy Orton and Gunther. A very unfortunate ending. I know it was the finish, but the referee really shouldn't have counted that pin. The shoulder was blatantly up, which spot... spot was supposed to finish something for us. Me, Gunther is a great pick and was a great pick, which it should. I picked Gunther to win over Randy Orton. I was right. WWE Crown Jewel is coming to ride us to ride us Saudi Arabia on Saturday, November 2nd. Backstage interview Kayla Braston is backstage with the WWE Chief Content Officer Triple H. She, uh, she mentions that Triple H is breaking news. Triple H congratulates the new Women's World Champion, Le Morgan, Queen of the Ring, I Jack, and King of the Ring, Gunther. Triple H says Drew McIntyre was clear earlier today. True, true to his word, Damian Priest agreed to defend the World Heavyweight Championship against him. Triple H makes the match official. It will be Damian Priest versus Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship on June 15th, live from Glasgow, Scotland. Ooh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Triple H is cooking. Backstage segment, Logan Paul is showing running laps in the ring and doing a split to stretch. Undisputed WWE Champion Cody Rose is finishing up his wrist tape. Video package, Undisputed WWE Champion. Piper Nimitz and Chelsea Green are showing at ringside. LA Knight is showing at ringside, and, and he gets a tremendous ovation. Mike Wilm hands off the ring, announced, the, announced to Abraham so we get the main event of the evening. Undisputed WWE Champion, Champion versus Champion, United States Champion Logan Paul versus the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. I'm glad Cody Rhodes retained the Undisputed WWE Champion. But this match itself, this main event, this was good. Good main event, but I'm glad that I'm glad that Logan Paul did not win. Thank God. And, and thank God that the prime logo was not inside the ring. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you, Cody Rhodes, for retaining the undisputed WWE champion. This match was fantastic. Okay. It says 
The crowd is loudly buzzing for this main event match. Cody Rhodes posed for the crowd to a huge ovation. They lock up and Logan Paul powers the undisputed WWE champion to the corner. Cody Rhodes spins the United States champion around, who titles a notably not on the line is in this match and challenges him to bring it to bring it. They each do some standing switches out of a out of race locks and tussle against the ropes for a position. They each give a clean break. They lock up and Cody Rose wrenches the arm. Cody Rose overcuts the arm and changes in, changes in the wrench. Um, Logan Paul reversed the wrench, but Cody Rose cartwheels out. Logan Paul sweeps the legs for a one count. Cody Rose tries to sweep the legs, but Logan Paul avoids it. Cody Rose picks the legs and takes Logan Paul down, but Logan Paul quickly gets away. They lock up and Cody Rhodes applies his side headlock. Logan Paul fights out with a race lock. Cody Rhodes twists out and puts the side headlock back on. Logan Paul whips him off, drops down, and leapfrog him. Cody Rhodes tries to surprise him by kicking him in the midsection and dropping him down for an uppercut, but Logan Paul blocks it, blocks it and shots. I'm Logan Paul. You know what? Logan Paul slings. To slings the land onto the mat, and the undisputed WWE champion is not pleased. Cody Rhodes shows Logan Paul, so Logan Paul shouts him back. Logan, Cody Rhodes rocks him with a form. Logan Paul responds with an uppercut. They trade punches before Cody Rhodes pulls him up in a delayed regular suplex. Cody Rhodes nearly lose him, but he claim claimly and impressively used the ropes to bounce him back up. Bounce him back up and regain control. Cody Rhodes then slams him with a gore buster. Cody Rhodes celebrates to that execution before pinning him for a, for a one count. Cody Rhodes applies his side headlock and drops to a knee to get to get some leverage. Uh, get some leverage. Logan Paul pulls him up to the leverage. Logan Paul pulls him up and backs him into the ropes before whipping him whipping him off. Cody Rhodes ducks a pair of clotheslines and goes for a flying crossbody, but Logan Paul spit splits under the splits under it. The momentum sends Cody Rhodes out of the ring. Logan Paul flattens Cody Rhodes with a plancha. Logan Paul Logan Paul sends Cody Rhodes midsection to the ring steps and tells Michael Cole to pay attention. He doesn't need brass knuckles, which he did use the brass knuckles. Logan Paul be lying. Tell me he don't need to use brass knuckles. He did use he did use the brass knuckles when Logan Paul punched Cody Rhodes in the midsection with the brass knuckles. So Logan Paul was lying. So I do not believe what Logan Paul every word what he has to say. Logan Paul is a liar, and I'm glad he lost to Cody Rhodes. But let me continue. Logan Paul gets Cody Rhodes in the ring and hits some body shots into the injured midsection of Cody Rhodes. Logan Paul connects with a alley hoop, which he is calling an overbomb for a two count. Logan Paul connects with a gut wrench to plus for another two count. Logan Paul gets to his feet and mounts the champion before punching away at the injured midsection. Logan Paul stops, steps on the midsection, hits a standing moose up for it to another two count. Logan Paul sees Cody Rose, sets Cody Rose up and goes to the top rope, but the American Nightmare cuts him off. Cody Rose climbs to the top, second rope, but Logan Paul knocks him down to the mat. Logan Cody Rhodes quickly pops up and hits an arm drag off the top rope. Both men allow I'm sorry, both men both men slowly get up and exchange punches. Logan Paul quickly needs away at the edge of midsection before applying an octopus stretch. Cody Rhodes tries to fight out, so Logan Paul redirects into a sunset flip attempt by attempt, but Cody Rhodes steps up and drops down with a right hand to right hand to the forehead of the United States champion, Logan Paul. Soon charged, but Cody Rhodes sends him to the apron. Cody Rhodes connects with a disaster kick to send the, the megastar to the floor. Cody Rhodes is holding his wrist in pain and pounds the mat to rally the fans. Cody Rhodes signal for a suicide dive, but he puts, the break, puts on the brakes. When Logan Paul moves, Logan Paul shatters around before turning, turning into an attack from Cody Rhodes. Punches him and sends him into, into the barricade. Logan Paul quickly cuts him off and hits a right hand to the midsection. Logan Paul grabs a prime hydration drink from a fan and takes a sip. 
Cody wants to tax and drives the drink into Logan Paul's head. The, this fan was a friend of Logan Paul's and shows Cody Rhodes. So um, Cody Rhodes angrily pulls him over the barricade. The referee tries to regain order. Another power of Logan Paul gives him some brass knuckles. Cody Rhodes leaves off the steps and Paul, uh, Logan Paul punches him in the midsection with the brass knuckles. Cody Rhodes collapses in pain, which is already new. That that um Logan Paul used the brass knuckles to punch Cody Rhodes in the in the midsection. Me and Cerise know that. And shout out to Cerise for going live for King and Queen of the Ring pay-per-view. Shout out to my boy Cerise. So my boy, so Cerise, if you're watching this video, shout out to you, man. I had a great time your watching you on your TikTok live, man. Anyway, let me continue. Michael Cole shouts at shouts at Logan Paul, and Logan Paul argues back with Michael Cole. Call him a loser, and Corey Grace gave Corey Grace hold Logan Paul back. Logan Paul turns around, and Cody Rhodes takes him out with a suicide dive. Cody Rhodes bounces him off the commentary table a few times before getting him in the ring for a clothesline. Cody Rhodes avoids a charge, charge in the corner, and connects with a snap power slam. Cody Rhodes is too injured to continue following up. Cody Rhodes gets fired up, and the crowd responds. The crowd chants, "This is awesome." Logan Paul ducks a disaster kick. Um, Cody Rhodes ducks some right hand and starts hitting some left jabs, followed by his Hall of Fame fighter Bonic elbow for a near fall. Dusty Rhodes, R.P. to Dusty Rhodes. Cody Rhodes sets up for a figure for leg lock and locks it in. Logan Paul screams in pain and reach to the and reach to reach to pull Cody Rhodes hair. But, but Cody Rhodes chinches it in harder to keep him away. Logan Paul whines that Cody Rhodes is going to break his leg, his leg before crawling for for the bottom rope and getting there to break the hook. Logan Paul, stop crying, man. You soft, bro. Stop crying because Cody Rhodes put you in the figure four leg lock. He he tell you, you going to break my leg? You going to break my leg? Stop crying, Logan Paul, and wrestle. Stop being soft and wrestle. But anyway, I just had to put this out there. So reason, let me know down below in the comment section. Do you agree with me with what I just said? Anyway, Logan Paul pulls himself up on the apron and shoulders Cody Rhodes in the injured midsection. Cody Rhodes avoids a buckshot lyric and connects with a Cody cutter. Cody Rhodes covers one, two, and Logan Paul kicks out. Cody Rhodes punches Logan Paul to the corner and lifts him for a veteran, better backbreaker. But Logan Paul slides out. Logan Paul... I mean, Logan Paul hits Cody Rhodes with a crossroads and covers one two. Cody Rhodes kicks out of his own finish. Logan Paul positions Cody Rhodes near far near the corner and climbs to the top rope. Logan Paul lands on his feet when Cody Rhodes moves. Cody Rhodes connects with a final cut and signals for the end. Cody Rhodes grabs him, but Logan Paul pick, backs him in the corner and shoulders away at the edge of midsection. Logan Paul dumps Cody Rhodes out of the ring and goes to the apron. Logan Paul goes goes down to ringside and bounces Cody Rhodes off the commentary table before putting him back in the ring. Logan Paul pulls him back out and bounces him off the commentary table. Logan Paul clears off the commentary table and sarcastically apologizes to Michael Cole. To, Mark, to Michael Cole. Logan Paul puts Cody Rhodes on his commentary table and gets in the ring. Commentary table and attempts a pedigree. Logan Paul shouts, "It's it's the Logan Paul, it's the Logan Paul Triple H era." Um, Cody Rhodes fights out and leaves to leaves to the barricade before jumping back with a Cody cutter on the commentary table. Cody Rhodes gets in the ring. The referee is going to count to ten, but the Cody Rhodes stops to count. The referee clears the ring, clears the commentary table, and grabs Logan Paul. Logan Paul shoves him into the ring steps and knocks him out with a punch. Uh, Paul, Logan Paul, titanium hand came into came into play there. Logan Paul puts Cody Rhodes on the commentary table and climbs to the top rope with a prime bottle. In, in hand. Logan Paul stands on the top rope and, and drinks Prime before missing it. Logan Paul then crushes Cody Rhodes with a diving splash off the top rope through the table on the commentary table. Wow, just like Logan Paul did to Roman Reigns. That's all I gotta say. Logan Paul then lifts Cody Rhodes back into the ring and goes to the top rope. Logan Paul connects with a low 
Low blow, low down, fall splash, and covers one, two. Cody Wall kicks out. Logan Paul cannot believe it. Logan Paul pulls him up and shouts, I hate you. Logan Paul punches away at the midsection and throws him to the corner. Cody Rhodes boosts Logan Paul and, and is gasping for air. Logan Paul reverses a whip in the corner and nearly sends him to the referee. Logan Paul goes for an avalanche, but Cody Rhodes moves. Moves. Logan Paul hits the referee. Cody Rhodes connects with a vertebral backbreaker and covers, but there is no referee. This match would have been over if the referee had been conscious. Cody Rhodes checks on the referee and apologizes to him. Cody Rhodes turns Logan Paul, and Logan Paul connects with a nasty low blow. Logan Paul takes out the brass knuckles and shouts for Cody Rhodes to get up. Guest ring announcer Abra, Abraham Abraham Ala Haja grabs um, Logan Paul's brass knuckles. Logan Paul put, kicks him away and, and asks who is he, who he is. Cody Rhodes blocks a brass knuckle shot and says, I'm Cody Rhodes. You know what? Cody Rhodes hits three, cro three of cro Crossroads and pins the United States champion to retain the undisputed WWE champion. The winner of the match by pinfall and still your WWE you it's still the undisputed WWE champion, the American Nightmare Cody Rose. This was a good match, and I'm glad that Cody Rose won. Cody Rose celebrates with the undisputed WWE champion and shakes his hand with Abra Aja Haja at ringside. Cody Rose stands on the barricade and pose. Cody Rose gets back in the ring and kisses the mat. WWE video, WWE King and Queen of the Ring highlights. Cody Rhodes pins Logan Paul and retains the his retains his undisputed WWE champion hashtag King and Queen of the Ring. And abs another absolutely st stellar undisputed WWE championship match for Cody Rhodes. I think we can stop being amazed when Logan Paul has a phenomenal match with Louis Lemon Smoke and Mirrors. Logan Paul is absolutely the real deal and is un undeniable at this point. He belongs in this. Okay. Coming in coming coming in at just order there three hours. This was a really easy, great show to watch. All action, nothing missed. The mark. Great way to spend Saturday afternoon. Hashtag WWE King and Queen of the Ring. And WWE King and Queen of the Ring goes off the air. But like I stated earlier, WWE King and Queen of the Ring was a pretty good show, and I give it an 8.9 out of 10. And all I got to say is, Logan Paul is one of the worst WWE United States champion in WWE, and that's facts by itself. But anyway, if you guys join my WWE King and Queen of the Ring review and highlights, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below what are your thoughts on WWE King and Queen of the Ring. I am so happy that Gunther was crowned as queen that's king of the ring that's all i gotta say that was my pick and that's all i gotta say from here but anyway help me get to 6k subscribers and help me get to that 3k watch out so i get that membership and shout out to everybody that tune in that tune in that tuned in to my wwe king and queen king and queen review and highlights thank you guys so much for tuning into this video when it comes to me doing wrestling reviews i always take my time and i deliver and I cannot wait to WWE SummerSlam 2026. But I cannot wait till Rhea Ripley comes back and take her Women's World Championship back where it belongs. Because Rhea Ripley, mommy stands on top. Because Liv Morgan's not going to have the Women's World Champion for long. And Rhea Ripley is not going to be too happy when she comes back. Because what Dirty Dominic did out there was a, was a prime example of why Becky Lynch lost to Liv Morgan. And I cannot wait at SummerSlam where Ripley's going to get her title back, her women's world title back, and she's coming back for blood against Liv Morgan. So, Rhea Ripley, you better come back and get your get back against Liv Morgan. That's all I got to say from here. But anyway, this is your boy, B-Boy Snacks on TV. Have a great afternoon. Stay safe and always stay positive. And I will premiere this video at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. And that's all I got to say. Help me get to 6K subscribers. Help me get to 3K watch hours so I can get that membership. Shout out to everybody that watched this video. Have a great, have a great afternoon. Stay safe and always stay positive.
Don't let nobody tell you different, and that's all I have to say. Kept your crew, kept your kings, kept your club. Too sweet. I'm out of here, gang. And that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my WWE King and Queen of the Ring review and highlights. I appreciate you all so much, man. Have a great afternoon. Stay safe and always stay positive. And God bless you all. And I will be headed to Sour Sour D's live stream. Cause he's streaming Call of Duty. So shout out to my boy Sour Deeds and shout out to Bree Cheese as well. She did her Bree Cheese did a great, a phenomenal job at her live stream last night. So Bree Cheese, if you're watching the stream, shout out to you, shout out to you for doing the incredible job in your live stream last night. And Sour Deeds, if you're watching this video, shout out to you, man, for going live today for for Call of Duty, man. I will be at your stream, no cap. I promise you, I will be there. But I got to go, guys. I got to edit this video. Have a great afternoon. Stay safe and always stay positive. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang. Mwah. Bang. Too sweet. Gang.